In the filthy shadow of the Black Pharaoh's pyramid, his army is made strong. Their general has received all the blessings of the Arten. Hack him to pieces. He will only laugh and spit black tar in your face. Their god is a false one, but this is the cradle of its power. My god remains true, but it has been so long. I do not know if he still holds court. Don't let your sorrow invite blasphemy, brother. You know that we outlived our civilization. What if we outlived our gods, too? Then they live on through our passaget, and through our memory they are justified. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... You're right. Humility looks peculiar on you, sister. Wanderer, when we rode out to face the Artanists, we wore divine sigils draped upon us by the boy king Tut himself. If you were to fashion the Eye of Horus, offer it upon an altar, I will endeavor to lend you that power. Wield it to cleanse the general's followers with your righteous fire. Then dispatch him. So justice will be done. So vengeance will be delivered. So Egypt will be protected. Two more in the bag. Mark a coil of rope on the board, brother. And on your watch, too. If you paid as much attention to your own watch, the scales of war would be weighted in our favour by now. Oh, go stick your head in the sand, big bird. You have a large mouth, little kitty. But your bite suffers. Your teeth have been blunted by idle chatter. As entertaining as your squabbling is, I'd rather... There are more of them. Emerging from that ill-omened canyon. They gather there as mosquitoes would at a stagnant pool. When we laid siege to the temple city as flesh and blood, the Black Pharaoh's beasts withdrew there to regroup. They knew it would be foolish for us to chase them within. But you were fearless. You saw a nest of coiled vipers and did not hesitate to strike off their heads. That's ancient history now, Hemi. And I am more mindful. To purge that canyon again, I would counsel strategy, positioning, and caution. To think it only took you millennia to reach this enlightened state. Stoneheadedness runs in the family. Attend, or be forced to your knees.
Greetings to you, wanderer. This is my eldest son, Tutmose. He is the falcon that watches over the pyramid. Hello, father. High priest of Amun. He embodies the spirit of Horus. Channel your spirit, my son. in the bag. Mark a coil of rope on the board, brother, and on your watch, too. If you paid as much attention to your own watch, the scales of war would be weighted in our favour by now. Oh, go stick your head in the sand, big bird. You have a large mouth, little kitty, but your bite suffers. Your teeth have been blunted by idle chatter. As entertaining as your squabbling is, I'd rather... There are more of them, emerging from that ill-omened canyon. They gather there as mosquitoes would at a stagnant pool. When we laid siege to the Temple City as flesh and blood, the Black Pharaoh's beasts withdrew there to regroup. They knew it would be foolish for us to chase them within. But you were fearless. You saw a nest of coiled vipers and did not hesitate to strike off their heads. That's ancient history now, Hemi. And I am more mindful. To purge that canyon again, I would cancel strategy, positioning, and caution. To think it only took you millennia to reach this enlightened state. Stoneheadedness runs in the family. Waiting suits you well, Nefertari. So cool in the shade of your crown. There will always be need for each of our aspects. In time, even you might appreciate this as an honour, not a prison. An honour for whom? The Egypt we knew is long gone. So? Our civilization was not the first nor the last in this land. It is a land as old as the universe and as prone to chaos. Ask yourself why Arten chose to manifest itself in this place. Akhenaten had many grand temples and solar lodges built for it in Amarna, yet the voices called him into the Howling Desert. Why is that? Because the sand is thin. And what lies beneath can easily spread its influence. Entice men here and leave their bones bleaching in primeval caves. That's how the Artanists seized power so quickly. They took up the arms that had been left behind. Hold on! You knew this all along! Well, you didn't ask. What? I don't... Is this because I pushed her off the bark when we were children? Oh no. Don't drag me into this.
inventory updated.
Additional assignment received. Initializing. This valley used to be a secret to the world, even to the secret world. Now it's Grand Central Station. The first to enter came a few months ago. They found the secret passage, my passage, and they knew how to get through. I can only blame myself. Then there were earthquakes, Fires from the sky and the disciples of the Arten came out of exile. Now the defenses are breached. Finally, there was you and your kind. I have learned to both fear and welcome the agents of Gaia. But the latest visitors are what worries me. The demons from the Hell Dimensions have heard the whispers of the Black Pharaoh, and they are transcending the dimensions to come to his aid. We have enough trouble with the horrors brought back from the land of the dead. We don't need visitors from other worlds as well. Thank <laughs> you. 